Uri Hashem se Shabbos. Hey, Baruch Hashem et Shabbos. Hey, Legitayet et Shabbos. Om nam bam bam Hey, Baruch Hashem et Shabbos. Yeah! Hashem's Shabbos. Okay, so some simple dips. It's tomato dip, it's jalapeno dip, and an olive dip. I'm gonna do all three together and try to do it as quick as possible. The first thing is when I make my jalapeno dip, I don't use raw jalapenos, I roast them. I'm gonna cut my jalapenos in half, just like that. I'm gonna add some garlic cloves, probably around 12, light olive oil, nice amount, a little black pepper, not too much, and a little salt, or maybe more than a little, just like this. This goes into the oven, give me around 20 minutes, around 375, 400. My jalapenos are in the oven, that's roasting. Let's start on the tomato dip. I like to use plum tomatoes. 10 cloves of garlic. A little bit of black pepper, salt, a little sugar, always put a little sugar into everything, you know, and a little cumin. What I like to use also is a little bit of tomato paste. I get the tubes from Toscanini, what is that, around two tablespoons? Usually I add a jalapeno pepper, because I like a little kick to my tomato dip. But when I went shopping for this episode, I came across this new item from Toscanini, which is the Calabrian chili peppers. Did I say that right? So let's try it instead of the jalapeno. Let me taste it. Mm. It's good. Perfect. I'm gonna add one. Let me take off the stem. Nice sip, gives a very nice flavor. And once I'm at it, I found some sun-dried tomatoes. How bad can sun-dried tomatoes be? In a tomato dip, right? Put one of those, a little of that oil. Now let's get to work. <coughs> oh, the hot pepper. Let's move this over here. I want to blend this for five minutes. I want a nice, creamy tomato dip. I'm gonna add some olive oil. I want to do this slowly, probably around half a cup, three quarter cup. As it's blending, it's going to turn lighter. You see that? I can see it already. I want to taste this. I want to make sure I have enough salt, pepper, has enough taste. Maybe I have to add something. I like it a lot. Boom, ready, containers, start packing away. I'm actually good at this. I do this every week at home. <laughs> okay. No waste. Now that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay. And that's. Why? That was the best episode. You're right. Um. And I said, I do this every week and I know exactly what I'm doing. So we had a little catastrophe over there, but we regrouped. We're doing good. No Watsala calls. One dip is done. And of course, the most important part. Okay, so I finished the tomato dip. I'm gonna go and bring in my jalapenos that's roasted. Right in. I'm gonna give this a little blend.
Gonna add some mayo right now. What is that, like a half a cup? Maybe like three quarter cup of mayo. Of course, I know so many of you like the Hellman's mayo. It's not good in jalapeno dip. Get the Geffen mayo. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Maybe if you're from Switzerland and you have that tummy mayonnaise or whatever that is, Weisslicht. I don't eat that, so it looks like toothpaste. But if you want good jalapeno dip, you use Geffen mayo. That's all I can tell you. Add one raw jalapeno and a little scallions. Not too much, just a little bit. What is that? Two or three? I would like to add a little bit of fresh parsley. And I'm going to squeeze in a half a lemon. I don't see any pits in there. Jalapeno dip 2.0. Next level, 2022. Now let's get that taste. Feel a little kick. Nice kick. Yes. I love the lemon in there. I love the fresh herbs. Here's another minute. You can always add if you want a little garlic, fresh garlic again, because that was roasted garlic. Go right in with some garlic. And by the way, I could also be adventurous and put in one of these um, fancy Tuscanini peppers. Hey, it's hot pepper, it's jalapenos. I think it'll be a nice little touch. Boom. Okay, let's get some containers. Let's get this packed up. Next dip is ready. This time, I'm gonna be careful. I'm not making that mistake again. Sorry, but I can't keep any inside. You gotta scrub it all. No waste over here. Here we go. I like to take out the ear when I do that. Labeled up. The geschmack of not having to rinse one of these bowls. I don't know. I like that. Why? I'll be making olive dip. I don't mind the little mayonnaise. I don't mind the little jalapeno in there. I don't mind the little kick. Geffen. Where everything is better on a bagel. <laughs> Don't leave that olive in there. Here we go. So my producer didn't prepare my spoon. I'm using the one I have. That's gonna be probably a half a cup of mayo, five cloves garlic. I have some fresh parsley. And I'm gonna squeeze in a lemon as well. Little bit of basil. Little black pepper. And a little cumin. This should work out pretty well. That's it, not too much. Let's taste it. Mm. That hits the spot. That on a crusty challah. <laughs> you take off just the you take off the soft part, just the crust. Delicious. That'll make you two and a half containers. Beautiful, delicious. Now, if you want to make a pickle dip after this, you don't have to wash that either. Little olives on pickle dip won't be too bad. The Baruch Hashem is Shabbos label. It'll just show your family you really care about Shabbos, the beauty of Shabbos. But before we go anywhere, whoever follows my shows knows Baron Herzog just happens to be kosher. <laughs> Let's make a l'chaim. Now this l'chaim is to thank my sponsors at Baron Herzog. Thank you for making this show possible. I don't know if you guys get it, but Baruch Hashem, it's Shabbos. Baron Herzog, it's like B-H-B-H, -H, you know, like whatever. <laughs> l'chaim. This is delicious wine. It's a California wine, so it's made in the USA. Something really special, very flavorful. Goes good after dips, and it goes good after fish, and it goes good, actually, the second glass goes good after anything. Peace out. See you next time. Episode one's done. Huh? It's Hashem. It's Hashem. It's Hashem.
Shabbat Shalom. Good Shabbos. Uri Hashem, Shabbos.